also, when I think about also becoming a thought leader and developing that point of view, it takes some time. You have to be willing to put in the um, the hours and the work to not just develop your po point of view, but share it in different ways. So it may be articles that you post on LinkedIn, like Cindy, you mentioned the guy that you always seek out his opinion. Um, that's, that's exactly what you want is you want to connect with people and then you want to keep feeding them um, ideas based on your singular point of view. It doesn't mean that your point of view can't evolve. It doesn't mean that you can't also talk about different things, but it's, it's that singular focus in the beginning that helps you become known for that particular point of view. And that is something that we do with our clients all the time is try to help them hone that point of view and then think about all the different ways that they can bring that point of view to the conversation of the day. So whether we are thinking about just what's in the zeitgeist and can we think about opportunities for a bylined article or a, you know, a keynote at a conference, or are we hijacking the news of the day and saying, you know, I, I know you're reporting on this incident today and here's somebody who has um, a really strong point of view about why that's a great thing or why that's a bad thing or why we should be talking about this more. Um, so those are the ways in which we use a, a point of view to develop a thought leader. You're public speaking, you're doing a video, you're writing an article. Does, how does that shift as you think about the different ways you can present your message? It's different because you, you know you, it requires something different of you. But what doesn't change is the need that you have to tell a great story. And so to take your point of view and to bring it to life through antidote, through um, presenting data, um, taking people through a chronology, um, giving them three things to remember that are takeaways. So three ways that, you know, this might happen kind of thing. A listicle, sometimes we call it. Um, being able to sort of package up your ideas and your point of view in different ways for different audiences is really important. And I think that makes you a, st a stronger thought leader. I mean, we often look to Cindy when we're thinking about um, how, how our thought leaders can bring their ideas forward in video. You know, there's a couple things. One, they can talk to their audience every day, every time they have like a major point. Like it's really about engagement and being connected to the people, whether it's on Instagram or putting out stuff on reels of uh, facebook linkedin it's really about like just being like you said least present and being right to camera right to their audience and um guiding people on how they really feel the other thing they can do and i know you've done with this with a client is they can sort of highlight other people's work and do lead-in videos to those people's work so and one of the things like this matt higgins guy that i follow he often will mention something and then like show a video of uh, Steve Jobs that's from, you know, 20 something years ago, but he talks about why it's great and why, you know, you create your own luck and that, you know, these four points as to, you know, how he feels about something else and why it is in alignment with his brand.